Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Med Zone African Motives. Uh, we are still on our number patterns, uh, working on question papers. So here I've got a question that you're going to consider. That is question number four. Uh, so there we are given uh, the number pattern, four minus one minus six. 4.11, write down the next two terms of the pattern, okay? Let's try and study our pattern and see what we are given. So in our syllabus, as we know that we are going to be focusing on a linear pattern, uh, whereby we are given, uh, in this case, the first term, the second term, and the third term. So what we need is to know the difference between these two terms, okay, between the given terms. So you're going to subtract uh, to obtain the difference, the second term minus the first term, the third term minus the first term. So these are the terms like we've got T1, uh, T2, T3, and so on. So it's T2 minus T1, all right? T2 minus T1 to find the difference. So this T2 is minus one. So this is minus one minus four. So minus one minus four, that's the minus five. So there's a difference of minus five here. The same thing, uh, T3, term three minus term two, that is T3 minus T2, uh, T3, that is minus six minus T2, which is our term two here is negative one. So if you had to simplify, that's gonna be a plus minus minus, that's a plus. So you put minus six plus one, which is a minus five. So as you can see, there is a difference of negative five throughout and throughout, okay. So having or knowing that there's a difference of negative five, how does it help us to determine the next term? If I know that there's a difference of five, it means here, uh, uh, a difference of negative five, it means here on T1, I just added negative five to obtain negative one. Negative one plus negative five, I obtain negative six. So it means negative six plus a negative five, I'm supposed to obtain the next term and so on and so on. I'm just adding a difference of negative five that I'm having. So if I add negative five to negative six, what am I going to have? So this one, you can just do it on your calculator. So you are adding to add, that's a negative six like this, all right? Plus a negative five. So you're going to add a negative five like this, all right? This will give us a negative 11. So there is a negative 11 as our next term. We do the same thing. We add a negative five to this term because there's a difference of negative five throughout. So on negative 11, we are going to add a negative five. We are adding a difference that you're given, which is negative five. We're gonna get a negative 16 and so on and so on and so on. So the question here was just to write uh, the next two terms of the pattern. So the next two terms, will be a negative uh, 11 and a negative, uh, negative 16, all right? So these are the next two terms that we have, negative 11 and a negative 16, okay? Let's check the other part of the question, which is 4.12. On 4.12, we are now given, uh, determine the nth term of the sequence. The nth term, this is an expression in terms of n that we are going to have. So this is our TN. So like I told you guys that your TN for a linear pattern is given as BN plus C. So I want you to use this so that you are not gonna have a challenge in your grade 11. It's going to be a continuation from this BN plus C as long you understand that this B represents the common difference. This is the common difference that we have, which is our first difference that we are given, which is the same difference that we have a difference of what? Of negative five. So that means we're gonna have our TN as negative five N plus C. The B is the difference that we have in this case. So this is going to be uh, negative five uh, plus what? Negative five plus, uh, plus uh, C in that case. All right, so what we need in this case is to find the value of C. From which concept you're going to substitute whatever that you're given. Here we are given the first term in this case is given as what? Well. The first term is given uh, as a four, that is our T1. So in this case, we are given T1 is equal to four. So that's N, uh, we're gonna substitute our N as one to get a four. So that means in this case, 
four is equal to in place of n, we're gonna substitute one. So this is minus five times n, which is times one plus c. Negative five times one, that's negative five. We transpose it to the other side of the equation, it adds. So this will be five plus a four, which is a nine. So nine is equal to c. So therefore, we can rewrite this as our tn in terms of n. Therefore, tn is going to be given as negative 5n. So that's negative 5n plus c, our c, which is a 9. So this is the expression that we use to find any of these numbers that we see these terms. Like if we were to consider to say, this is the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term. Let's say I want to find this fifth term. I know that any there, the number of term is five. Any is equal to five, the fifth term. So if I substitute a five here, I'm supposed to get the same answer as this one, negative 16. So let's substitute and see uh, if this formula is correct. So this is negative five into the bracket N, which is our N in this case, we said the fifth term, the fifth term, which is five uh, plus nine like this, we must get negative 16 and that's it, negative 16. So it means this formula can be used to determine any of the given terms as long you are given number of terms. So we can use this to determine anything like the second part of our question. I mean, this part where we are given uh, to calculate T27, the 27th term of the, pet uh, of the pattern. So T27, it simply means we are going to substitute because now we have got our TN here from our calculation we got our Tn, all right? So this is uh, 4.13, all right? So we're gonna need uh, 4.13. We are going to calculate T27. So T27 is a continuation from Tn. It simply means in place of N, substitute a 27. Like I was saying, we can use this formula to find whatever that we want. So in place of N, we are going to substitute a 27. So this is minus five times 27 plus a nine. So this is our T27. If we substitute uh, 27 in place of any, what are we going to have this? We just need our calculator. So that's minus five times 27. So we're just gonna substitute a 27 here. Minus five times 27 plus a nine, uh, that's minus 126. So this is going to give us minus 126. That's our T27. All right, then uh, 4.14, it's another part of the question where we are given this time, uh, which term of the pattern is equal to negative 71? Which term is equal to, they, they, they're not asking us to find, to find the, the, the term, no, they're the, like to find uh, the 27th term or what the, of, the, of the pattern to say the number that corresponds to the pattern, no. They want the term that is equal to negative, 20, uh, negative uh, 71. So we are given Tn in this case, and you are supposed to calculate N when it is like that. There, we are given this question is like this. I want you to uh, understand this question. This question is like this. You are given that Tn is equal to negative 21, which is the answer that you are given. This is the Tn for you, negative uh, 71, all right? So we are given Tn as negative 71 in this case. So they want you to find N. So what do you do? You simply take your TN as usual. This is our TN, negative 5N plus nine. So it means negative 5N plus nine for TN, negative 5N plus nine must be equal to negative 71. And by doing this, we formed an equation where we are supposed to solve for what? To solve for N. By solving for N, we are determining the number of terms. That is what the question is asking you are there. So you can transpose negative five N is equal to transpose nine to the other side there, it becomes a negative nine. So this is going to be negative 71, negative nine. All right, so let's see negative 71, negative nine like this, which is negative 80. So this is going to give us negative 80 to find N divide by negative five, divide by negative five. So if for the number of terms in this case to say, uh, how many terms are we gonna have that corresponds to that? So if we divide this by a negative five, we are going to obtain 16. So N is equal to 16. 
So we are talking about uh, 16 uh, terms in this case, or the 16th, uh, 60th term, right? Like that. The term that is going to correspond will be the 16th term, the one which will give us a value of what? Of negative uh, 71. That is what the question was all about. We are calculating N when it is like this. It's different from this part where we are given N. T27, we are given N. All right, 4.2. Study the following illustration. One times one is one. 11 times 11 is this. This one times this is this. Express this one is per the illustration above using this concept. So if we check here, I want you to see if this is a one, this is just a one. Okay, no problem. Let's get to 11 and 11. So take note, we're going to have, this is two values. So you're going to have one, two, all right? Then a one. This is three values. One, two, three. One, two, three. I want you to take note. One, two, three. There are three numbers here. So if you are to check up to one, two, three, four, five, up to six, this is where the numbers now, they start to be like three, two, one, two, one. So at six here, this one, this is the major number that we focus. Because after six, the numbers, they start to decrease at, 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 at six. At six here, we now start five, four, we are now decreasing. So this number in the middle here, it represents the number of 11s. Two in the middle here, all right? Two in the middle, there are two 11s. Three in the middle, there are three ones that we have. One in the middle, there's just one here. So here there is six in the middle. The number in the in the middle is six. So there are one six is that one, two, three, four, five, six times one, two, three, four, five, six. That is what it means. We are just following this pattern. So this is equal to the whole of this number. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do this and prove on our calculator and see if we're gonna have this same thing. That's uh, on our calculator here. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times one, two, three, four, five, six. This is gonna give us, all right, so in this case, it's just because of the illustration that we have two, four, six, two, four, six. All right, it's not gonna like uh, exactly, but this is what we have there, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one is now decreasing, going down. So this is the illustration that you're given, only that on the calculator, it shows another way, but this is exactly what we have. This is how we are supposed to have our answer at the end, okay? So that is how our questions might be given as, uh, just have to revise as many, questions as you can from your past exam papers uh, on number patterns, each and every topic, make sure that you watch the introduction of each and every part, then also go through the question papers so that you see how do they ask these questions because it's just a continuation that you have uh, of which all of this or, or almost everything of this part you've already talked about this, you just have to work as much questions as you can to prepare yourselves uh, for the exams that are ahead of time.